All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweshai, Ba'asham Rakakwadash, double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. All right, it's a quick video. You know, um, the plagues of Egypt are here. All right. And by that we are talking about the the, um, the mosquito situation, all right, which is becoming a global situation. But right here in Trinidad and Tobago, you know, you have a lot of cases now of this um, dengue, all right, which is one of the 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 the, the diseases or or viruses, all right, that these mosquitoes carry. Which which mosquitoes are the animal which um, causes um, the most death? around the world so so these small insects pack a punch all right it's something that you had to be aware of all right but um you know just read a piece of this 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 um video and really just go into the into the, a couple of scriptures and close this out because you know this is prophecy here playing out it says frightening dengue situation this is from the um daily express trying to be daily express july 23rd edition it says um on July 21st, Health Minister Terence Dial Singh updated the population of the um, dengue, you know what is epidemic, confirmed cases will progress to 392 and deaths were at 4 and this increase has increased since then. Right, it says, um, coming on the heels of the country, the country's Crown Vic Royal experience. All right, by the time, oh, blah, blah, blah. All right, we all know all, all, all this nonsense. They said, let's go down to the next paragraph. It says, the pathogenesis leading to eventual mortality in both, in both C319 and um, dengue situations is different. Therefore, the approach to minimize the worst effects of the pathogen is understandably different. And believe it, there's a lot of, there are a lot, a lot of mosquitoes now, you know, about, you know, literally out there. You know, as soon as it gets dark, you actually see swarms of mosquitoes now. All right, swarms of them. All right, and mosquitoes, with pretty much um, they they cause um, I say dengue and then there's the hemorrhagic fever. All right, which is, which I've had before and it's not not ending nice. You know, fever is so hot, you know, you be talking out of your head. All right, so it's it's serious. All right, it says um, let me go down, jump down here. It said it is my belief that during the C nineteen. Um, decision makers spend boundless energy, valuable resources, what turn out to be fruitless draconian exercises, right? That's and that's what they that's what they they come in with again. These draconian exercises, contagion, and not enough in protecting persons of the gravest danger. We'll now be in the frightful face of another viral epidemic, and from the effort so far, run the risk of repeating the same mistake not only with um, dengue but any other lurking pathogen. Yeah, which these mosquitoes give many. Like Zika, Chikungunya, etc. Right, malaria. Okay, and these things are um, basically they 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 basically could unalive you. That's what it is. It could unalive you. All right. Um, that's how serious it is. You know, but um, all this was happened before, and the scripture says nothing new under the sun, right? So the plagues, you know, there's a couple of plagues before that happened. All right. In in um in the Old Testament, all right. There are plagues that happened before, which the plagues that uh, that Moses brought upon Egypt back then, and as the scripture said, nothing new on the sun. These things are coming back. Let's get Exodus chapter eight, and we read from verse sixteen. The plague of insects. It says, and Yahweh Bashem Yahushai said unto Moses, say unto Aaron stretch out thy rod and smite the dust of the land that it may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt all right it will become what this and this happened about over three thousand three thousand years ago that's about yeah so it will become lice and they did so for Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and smote the dust of the earth and it became a lice in man and in beast all the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Egypt. So it was swarms of them. Right? And the magicians did so with their enchantments to bring forth lice. 
but they could not. So there were lice upon man and upon beast. So this is one of the the um, the plagues that the, the the wise men and the magicians of Egypt couldn't couldn't bring forth. Right? Then the magician said unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of the heavenly father. Right, of course. So it's the Lord who's doing it. Yahbashim Yahweh is his name. Right? And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he hearkened not unto them, as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh had said. Now, now the, 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 the modern day Pharaoh, you know, these wooden trees, these bankers, right? These um these, these Rothschild, Rockefeller, and these guys, they are the modern day Pharaohs, the modern day rulers, and their heart, they see the plagues, and their heart is being hardened still. Because the Lord is hardening it. All right, but he points these these plagues here like lice. When you go into the word um <clears throat> lice, let's go into here. It says um lice a gnat or a gnat swarm. Okay? Right, a gnat. Now when you get gnat, when you look up gnat, it says in fact, I are gnats and mosquitoes of the same family. It says that gnats are a group of tiny winged flies. They belong to the fly order Diptera, which includes mosquitoes, flies, and maggots. All right, so they're, they're the same family. Okay? Are gnats and mosquitoes related? Both insects are member, members of the Colicidae superfamily under the order Diptera. They both have members which draw blood from victims, right? From humans, right? And they don't only draw blood. They actually put secrete uh, a hormone, you know, that that causes causes your blood not to coagulate. You know, while they try to suck in your blood. And also, you know, by putting this stuff into you after they, they, they draw their blood, they put stuff into you which, which are the viruses, and disease, basically diseases, diseases. All right? You know, it says... Um, and both result in itchy, painful welts on your skin. Right? Size-wise, gnats are typically smaller than mosquitoes, do would feature long and slender. So they're very similar. Alright? You know, and they do, they do accomplish pretty much the same purpose. You know, basically sickness and, 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 and death. You know? Basically. So this is what this is what is um taking place here. It says um let's go back here. Exodus 8. Right now, let's get the book of Psalms 105, verse 31. It says, um, Psalm 105, let's start at 26. It says, He sent Moses his servant and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They showed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. Right. Now we we in the in in the, in the, we the men of the Lord, especially beginning with the elder apostles at the great millstone and Moses' place, you know, as the prophets of the Lord. Alright? So when, when we preach this word, you know, and, and tell him what's gonna happen, guess, guess what? It's happening. Right? That's why the scriptures say, um in let's get that quickly. Second Thessalonians two. Alright, and verse eight, it says what? And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. What does that word consume mean? Consume. It says to, to, to devour, to eat, drink, ingest. Similar, devour, swallow, gobble up. You know, basically destroy. That's what that's where it's going into. When they talk about what a consumption, right? Uh, consumption. Consumption. Let's get the definition. Consumption. The action of using up a resource. Um, basically, a wasting disease. Disease. You know, but but you know, basically, just they're being they're being cut up in pieces. They're being destroyed. That's really what I'm gonna say. All right. This is the book of um. Let's get the book of Hosea. The book of Hosea. Chapter 6 and verse 5, it says, Therefore I have hewn, hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and my judgments are as the light that goeth forth. In the NLT, it says, I send my prophets to cut you into pieces, 
to slaughter you with my words, which judge which with judgments as inescapable as the light. So what Moses was doing back then, telling these 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 um Egyptians, this Pharaoh, what would befall them, you know, basically you know that's a, that's a judgment. The Lord put on put on our place, and the same judgment is coming back to to this time to modern day Egypt, which starts with America, which is America, and these likewise um countries or corporations around the world that follow after her. All right, so they've been hewn, they've been the judgments are going out onto them. All right, that's what's that's what's happening. Let's get um the apocrypha. In fact, before we go there. Let's finish off here in, in uh, the book of um, Psalm, Psalm 105. Let's jump down to verse. So he sent Moses and Aaron. Same way he sent us to do this work. This is um, Psalm 105 and verse 31. It says, He spake, and there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their course, right? Along with the other um, plagues that he sent. Which the other plagues are also coming? The hail. You see hail coming. Right, you see the water is going to be turned into blood and certain things. Send frogs, okay? A lot, a lot of, a lot of plagues are coming. Why? Because the Lord said He's going to see where to send it back. It's a second Ezra chapter 15. Uh, let's start around the, the fifth verse. It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right, so. This falls in the, in the category of um, of debt. All right, you know, it falls in the category of debt. And when you when you go into it, uh, uh, let me see if I can get this here. Which uh, animal kills the most humans? Here we go. Mosquitoes. It says mosquitoes. So which animals kill the most human? Mosquitoes are by far the deadliest creature in the world when it comes to annual human deaths, causing around one million deaths per year, compared to hundred thousand deaths from snakes, two hundred and fifty from lions. Surprisingly, dogs are the third deadliest deadliest animals to humans. So you have it right here. The single animal. What single animal? So it, so basically. You understand the gravity of this thing. That's death. The mosquito signal signals death. And what the Lord said he would send? He would send death. Second Ezra 15 and 5. Behold the Lord. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. This falls. So these mosquitoes, you know, if the spirit created for vengeance, you know, upon them. All right? To punish the wicked. It says, For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, all the wickedness. All right? The evil. It says, Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yeah, we, we send up the prayers. We send up the curses upon Babylon the Great. All right, and guess what? It's having an effect. It's destroying them. We bring it. The plagues are coming on as a result of this word being preached. Okay? And it says, And therefore say the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. This is not talking about um, 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 Egypt. You know, literal Egypt is figurative. What is it speaking about? Babylon the Great. How do we know that? Let's get the book of um, Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Which is going back into what? Uh, 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 Babylon the Great, America. All right, the modern day, the head, or the head of, you know, the capital of the modern day Rome, the revised Roman Empire. Which the revised Roman Empire, basically the beast, you know, um, goes back to European Union and NATO. But America is that whore 
as the scripture says in, in Revelation the 17th chapter that sits upon that beast. Okay? Okay? That, that's, that's what it's talking about. So it's spiritual Egypt the Lord is talking about here. Alright? Okay? It says, um, verse 11, 2nd Ezra 15 and 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and I stretch out arm and smite Egypt. To smite means to kill with plagues as before and will destroy. So it says as before. So you know we're not talking about the old long time Egypt. You know, it, it said as before, as it did before, right? Nothing new under the sun. It says, and I will destroy all the land thereof. All right? All the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague. Right? This is a plague. This, um, this, this one of the plagues of Egypt, and punishment that the heavenly Father shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail, which is another plague, and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Because not only are you going to be in, in modern day Egypt, Babylon the Great, but around the world, these plagues are hitting. You see in China and Tobago. And what are these plagues? They are sign at the end. They are sign to repent. All right? As the scripture says in 2 Ezra 16, um, verse, um, verse 19, it says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for men. Men to send fear to repent and change your ways. All the JK and this. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness and then they're going to continue in the way they're going. Most of them. But once you're not of elect. It says, nor be always mindful of the scourges. And these scourges and these plagues are what? A sign of the end. All right? They are a sign of the end. They are a sign of the Lord going to come back. It says, Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest the part of the signs pass, which I told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right? Okay? These signs. Okay? And, the, and this is what it is. When the Lord himself um, said in the book of Matthew, Matthew 24, verse 3. Let's read that. It says, um, Matthew 24 and 3, As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us what, what, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye, that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. Right, pestilences, right? Uh, 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 um, these, the, these things, these mosquitoes give what? Diseases, right? Viruses and whatnot. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is the beginning of sorrows for Babylon, the great and around the whole world. The whole world lieth in wickedness. All right, and this is why the Lord is sending his judgment upon it. So, you know, beware, you know, for brothers, you know, pray, keep praying up. You know, watch and pray. Well, we soon out here, you know, with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Till the next time, Shalom.